Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Adam here. Uh, this is going to be a quick vlog. It's going to be a bit different to what I've done before, which has got three topics to talk about today. I'm not answering any questions. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to start with the topics. The first topic is to talk about my school experiences. Um, my school experiences were very, like, two extremes. Uh, I had the really fun part of school, like, mucking about with mates and whatever, and then I had me getting bullied for most of my school life as well. Uh, we're going to talk about the um, we'll talk about the fun stuff first, I think, because that'll be a good way to kick off this vlog anyway. Um, yeah, we used to do stupid shit all the time, me and my friends. Um, chair surfing. Who remembers chair surfing? Yeah, chair surfing. Basically, what you do is you get a chair, put it in the middle of the room, and you run and you push it backwards with your body weight, and you try not to fall flat on your face. And um, yeah. That's what we uh that's what we used to do. I used to do it we used to find objects we could chair surf into and I went to the extreme and went into and chair surfed at a wall that was full of pins, so I got a pin stuck in my head. Um Yeah, we did that. We used to lock people in cupboards. That was fun. Um We used to uh switch the lights off in the common rooms when people were in there eating and whatnot. Uh, we got banned from the one of the common rooms because we were gambling, playing poker. That was that was a bit harsh on from the teachers. Really, I don't think we weren't doing anything wrong. Yeah, a few of us lost a bit of money, but that's life. Um. Yeah, we used to. Uh, I always remember in year seven, I used to take about ten pound to school a day, and I used to spend it all on chocolate and just eat chocolate. And Luca drink Lucas Aid as well. Used to drink shitloads of Lucas Aid, eat shitloads of chocolate, and yeah, I don't know how I didn't get fat, but that's what I did. Um, if I look at the uh, other other side of my school life, I was bullied for most of it from primary school to through secondary as well. Um, it's something that I learned to deal with. Uh, I feel that anyone that gets bullied shouldn't just stay in silence about it you should tell someone about it because at the end of the day it's not your fault and you shouldn't be scared to talk to someone about it because nine times out of ten the person you tell can help so or know someone else that could help uh, it doesn't have to be like a teacher or anything it could be a friend family member or whatever as long as you you can uh, you can talk to someone about it then it helps a bit, but at the end of the day, don't blame yourself if you're bullied, because for a lot of my school life, I blamed myself for being bullied and saying it was my fault because I was different, I was the weird kid. But at the end of the day, you can't blame yourself for it because it's not your fault that they're ignorant and they don't, and their life's negative to the point where they feel like they have to bully you to be happy. So yeah, stay strong and you'll get through it. I did, so you can. Um, so yeah, that's so that topic out of the way now. Uh, the next topic was uh, three wishes. I've not done three wishes before, I don't think. Um, my first one would be uh, unlimited supply of coffee and whiskey. Not together, obviously, but like in separate containers or bottles or whatever. But unlimited supply of coffee and whiskey because they're the two, two of the most important things in my life at the moment. Well, the last three years, three, four years, so, yeah, coffee and whiskey. Uh, the next one would be um, for me to have a voice that would not require vocal warm-ups. So I'd have, like, a Kevlar voice or something like that, so I wouldn't have to do vocal warm-ups because vocal warm-ups are long, tedious, and really fucking annoying, and I hate doing them. So, yeah, that would be my... And my fourth one, my fourth one, Third one, even. I don't know why I said full. Third one. Um, if you live in London and you use the tubes and the underground and whatever, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, this next 20 to 30 seconds of your life is going to be pointless. So, um, when you're on the tube train and you're getting going up or down, going away or to the platform, uh, there's usually you should go up the escalators and whatever, uh, and I would, I wish that you change the side you stand on.
because you're meant to stand to the right so you can let people through on the left. That seems weird to me because everything else is on the left. So why not stand on the left and let people go up on the right? It just makes more sense. Because if you look, if you live in England, if you go on the motorway, the fast lane is on your right. So you have people overtaking you on your right. So why would you have people overtaking you on your left on the escalators? It does not make sense. So yeah, um, that's that. And th uh, this is the last topic now, which is common mistakes. When you mean common mistakes, you mean common mistakes I make or common mistakes in general? Because I can talk about both, to be honest, because both really piss me off. There's a lot of things that piss me off. Um, one thing that people mistake about me, common mistake about me, is that I'm an arsehole. I'm not an arsehole, but I can be a nice person. Um, just 80% of the time I choose not to be a nice person, I'm joking. Um, yeah, people think I'm an arsehole for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not an arsehole. Um, another common mistake uh, that's made by a lot of people is that falling in, re in reverse are shit. They're not shit. They're, they're a good band, in their own little special way. They're a good band. Um, so yeah, I want to think of one more mi common mistake that's made. Um, I'd have to say that... People that... I think a common mistake that, that's made is that people that listen to rock or metal are devil worshippers, emos, goths and all that. It's all bullshit, it's all just labels and it's fucking stupid and it really pisses me off because we don't set out, or, or say we, but like people that listen to rock music, metal music, whatever kind of alternative music, so people don't set out to be labelled. At the end of the day, it's just ignorant people who feel the need to put labels on everything that come up with these names and whatever. And I think it's, it's wrong because you shouldn't pigeonhole people into something that they're not. Like, I don't go out and say, like, I'm a goth, I'm an emo. It's pathetic. Like, I think you should just be yourself, and if you're one of those people that label people, I suggest you stop, because how would you like to be labelled? That's another mistake that, or another thing that pisses me off. This is completely digressing now, but people who moan about being labelled then, like, say people who listen to rock or metal, then go around and call people chavs that, like, listen to R&B or pop or whatever. You're doing exactly the same thing as they're doing. Don't do it. If you don't like being labelled, don't label people. That pisses me off, and I'm going to end it there. Thanks, guys.